Hey guys, this is Amy with Stick With The Plan and today we are talking about rewired. Let's get our brains rewired together. Stay right here. So glad you joined me. I'm talking about rewired, how to rewire your brain. Now you can naturally um, have a brain that's either really positive or negative, but don't worry, you don't have to leave it in that place. If it's negative, I've heard some great studies lately that said, um, you know, uh, doctors have said if you'll take like 21 days, if you find your brain being really cloudy or negative, that if you'll take that time, set it aside, think of three things you're grateful for, and just think on those things. Wow. Oh, that kind of sounds like the Bible, doesn't it? If you think about uh, Philippians chapter 4 and verse 8, it tells us what to think on. You know, that verse 6 says, worry about nothing. Don't get upset. Don't have any anxiety. Then we drop down to that verse 8 and it says, you know, think on things that are pure and just and, and pure and lovely, of good report, of virtue, anything that is praiseworthy. Think on this. Well, that goes right along with that retraining your brain how to think. I had to do that. You know, I, you know, if you looked at my family naturally, you know, one side, they were used to worrying. They didn't know God in a way that you could just put your trust in. They thought worrying would be a part of love. You know, if your loved one's out late, you worry till they get back home. <laughs> it's just part of love. But that's not true. If the Word of God says worry about nothing, be anxious for nothing, then we shouldn't have that care. We should put our trust in the Lord. One time I was in a church service and we were um, just praising the Lord. And uh, one lady, she was a friend of mine, I noticed the Lord started speaking to me about her and he showed me her brain. And he said, now Amy, I'm gonna rewire her. Instead of all the frustration, she has all the worry, all this, she had tremendous anxiety. And she would always be stressed out. He said, I'm gonna rewire her as she's praising me. So as I watched my friend praise the Lord, he did like a supernatural surgery on her brain. <laughs> Instead of just trying to always figure everything now he just kind of changed the wires for her and you know let her put her trust in the Lord let him figure it out she didn't have to worry about it or have that care or live so negatively and full of fear that's not how we're supposed to live we can be rewired well uh, my husband told me a fact he said last week that he got in the molly grubs <laughs> because he noticed he was thinking about negative things about everything that was wrong or that he didn't have yet you know and, and the Lord just stopped him he was telling a friend about you know the trouble he thought he had and the Lord stopped him and said think about your family think about your awesome friends your awesome church you know what the Lord's doing in your life he said it didn't take very long once he got thankful about his life that his his brain just shifted and you know he started feeling positive again well he said that he heard a doctor talk about that and that if you're negative always complaining that there's actually a little bridge that builds in your brain that makes it very easy to start complaining you become a compulsive complainer <laughs> I do not want to be a compulsive complainer. No, no, I want to be quick to believe God. Uh, you know, Jay will make fun of me. My husband will laugh at me and say, Amy lives in her old world. It's all positive. It's all happy and rainbows and <laughs> lollipops. <laughs> it is, I stay positive on purpose because I don't want to get down. I know you start whining, and complaining, and getting negative. It just leads to decrease. You know, look at the children of Israel. The thing about Psalm 78, where it says, you know, as long as they were complaining, they lived limited God. What? Yeah, it says they limited the Holy One from being able to help them. So if you find yourself, Amy, lately, I just feel so negative. Think on this. Think on things that are of good report. Think of what's going right, not what's going wrong. Because you've heard the saying before, if you complain, you'll remain right where you are. If you're feeling stuck right now, man, I thought I'd be further along in my career. I thought I'd have more for my family by now. You're feeling that stuck. I just encourage you, get thankful right now. Rewire your brain. Stop thinking about what you don't have. Think about what you do have and where God is taking you. He's not there yet. So if we're going to complain, we'll stay right where we are. But if we'll get thankful and give God thanksgiving. So the other part of that verse saying, don't worry about anything, but in all things, let's offer up supplication, thanksgiving unto God. Come on, if you'll get thankful, stop worrying. You can't be thankful and worry at the same time. Get thankful today. Take on that challenge. Let's find three things to get really grateful about and allow the Lord to bless us. We're not going to limit him. We're going to cast that care over on him so he can increase us. Get rewired today in the positive things that God has for us. And that's how we'll stick with the plants he has for us.
Thanks for joining me. We love hearing all that God is doing in your life. And thank you, thank you, thank you for all the shares. New people get to watch this each week because you are sharing this. If you're on YouTube, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. If you're on Facebook, like this page. We got a brand new video for you next week. And remember, every Tuesday we're going live. I'll see you then.